It's Trigger you from Lively Edits, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple yet effective desktop wallpaper using Photoshop CS5. Now you can actually use any other Photoshop apart from CS5, but today I will be using CS5. Now, the background that I'll be showing you how to do will be very similar to this one. But obviously it's going to be different because this one was made uh, about a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to change it around a little bit, just the font, the font's the only thing that's going to be different I think. So we're going to open up Photoshop CS5 and wait for that to load because I got a, I got a slow computer and it takes a while to load. But while that's loading I'm just going to go ahead and ask you all if you want, you can subscribe, I'm not going to stop you there, it's free, go for it. It help, it help the channel out a lot, it'll help our GFX. Our GFX design is out a lot, and we really need the, the publicity. So, when Adobe Photoshop CS5 loads up, here we go. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna open up a new file. So we're gonna go File, New, and you're gonna wanna use the same resolution that you've got on your desktop, but Obviously, they're all different, but I'm going to go with 1600 by 900, so I'm going to click OK. And we're just going to click Fit on screen to make it a bigger size. And I'm going to first, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Open. And what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a cup, you're going to need two different, different backgrounds like wallpapers you can you can have the same one if you want but for me I like to use different ones so we're gonna go into my folder here lively edits it's called and pick out a background I'm gonna use this colorful abstract which I got off Google images it's not hard to find and when that's loaded up like I said my my uh, laptops very slow it's an Acer what do you expect so we're gonna drag it on to our canvas here, and then just get rid of that. And we're gonna hold Control T, and then we're gonna resize this by holding Shift and dragging it. And then Enter, and I'm gonna just, just drag it so it's centered. That looks okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click our layer, or either that, or click Blending Options. Then we're going to click on color overlay, make sure that's highlighted. And then whatever color you want, I'm going to go with a lightish blue, a sky blue. Alright. And then you got to go to blend mode, color, so we get this changed color effect. Okay. And now we're going to jump straight into adding some text. Uh, I'm going to use a new font that I've just uh, collected called Star Avenue. It's available on dfonts.com. D E O, no, sorry, D E F O N T S.com. They do thousands of different fonts for free. They're easy to download and take seconds. Uh, this one's called Star Avenue. And I'm just going to type in my Xbox Live Gamer tag. Trigger. Yes, I'm aware it's spelled with a Q, but it was the only one available. So, what we're going to do is Control T. Again, shift and drag to make the size a bit bigger. That'll do. And what you need to do to center it, as a lot of you will be wondering, we got to click this, our rectangle marquee tool. And we drag it the whole length of our picture. And then we click our select tool. Then the middle button here, as you can see. And then this middle button here. And then it directly gets centered in the middle of our canvas. Okay, so we go select, deselect to get rid of this outline we got here. And now we're gonna edit our text because it looks a bit boring at the moment, and we don't want that because that's 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 a crap background if I'm honest. So we're gonna go into blending options on our text, and we're going to change the color by clicking color overlay. And going into whatever color you want. Again, I'm going to have a skyish blue, but maybe a bit darker this time. That'll do. Okay. Blend mode screen or color. Blend mode color. Okay. 
And as you can see, nothing's changed, but it will as soon as we do this. We're going to go into Open, and we're going to get the same image, or a different image. I'm just going to go with the same one, because it's, it's my favourite. So, I'm going to wait for this to load now. Same thing again, we're just going to drag it. Uh, here we go. Oh, wish I had a faster laptop. I'm going to have to get a gaming laptop soon. Control. Shift and drag. Okay. Actually, what we're going to do is make it the same... Roughly the same size as our text, so we can fit the whole image in. Because what we're going to do is we're going to blend the background with our text. So the text is actually inside of the, the background. So we're going to drag it so it's roughly with the text. And then this is the tricky part. You've got to highlight the text. And then we... A lot of people get this wrong, they do it the other way around. You've got to make sure the text is under the layer we just put on the screen. So you're going to highlight your text, control, and then click Alt, hold that, and click in the middle of those two layers, and we'll get this effect. Okay, as you can see, the background has merged with the text. And if you're not happy with the way it looks, all you've got to do is go to the blending options of that the uh, the background but bear with me I'm gonna remove the color overlay of my text you could just avoid this the first time around but never mind just leave it so as you can see this is how it should look so if you want to change the color you just do the same thing I just did with the color overlay and then do whatever color you want I'm gonna go with this blue and then blend mode color because this looks best and as you can see that's pr that's pretty good it doesn't look too bad I like it now go back into your text you don't have to do this but I choose to do it this way by adding a stroke because it looks better with a stroke a lot of you might agree so this, let's have a stroke okay and now what we're gonna do is add a reflection to this by we're going to merge, first of all, we're going to merge these two layers. So hit the top layer and then shift and click the other layer. And then right click and click merge layers so they become one. And now what we're going to do is copy this layer by clicking duplicate layer. And then we've got a copy. So what you do then is control T and then bring it down, bring down the duplicate of that layer. So it's directly underneath. This may take a while. Mm. And then, when we do this, what we're going to need to do is click on Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. So then we get this. Obviously, mine's not actually underneath yet. So we're just going to keep going. When it's there, I think that's about right. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then we need to click this button here. Uh, it says add layer mask. Okay, we're going to click this button here, and then go into our gradient tool, which is right here on the panel here, and we're going to click the first one called linear gradient. And then we're going to go from the default, which is white to black, right here. Okay, click that. I'm going to drag from the top of the text to around three quarters of the way. And we'll get this effect, a fade out effect. I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to click Control Z and make it shorter. Right, I like that. And now what we're going to do is go to the opacity and change it to about... 30% or maybe 40 and then as you can see you can still see this bit here and to get rid of that all we got to do is move the copied layer underneath the other layer so we get it like that and now you can see a pretty good reflection on the text which is you know it makes the text look a lot better 
And we're just about done here, but now I'm starting to not like the colour of my main background, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tweak this a little bit. You don't have to. Colour overlay. And I'm gonna give it a, a light purple. Now that that looks sick. Here we go. Okay. And one other thing you can do to your text, you don't have to, but again, you can choose to, you don't have to. So, let me just merge these layers. And then I'm going to go into Filter, Liquify. And what this does is it allows you to give sharp edges to your text that make it look pointy and make it give it a twisted effect. So all you got to do is brush along your text. If you get unhappy with one step, then you click Control Z to remove it. But you can take your time with this. Obviously, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rush through it and do a crappy one. Something like that one. And then click OK when you're finished. It'll just generate the result. And you'll end up with this. Which looks pretty cool, I must say. And obviously, again, this is just an option. You don't have to do this. And the way people have trouble saving these files, usually, is you got to save it twice. So you're going to go to Save As, and then save it the first time as a Photoshop file, a PSD. So I'm just going to name it, name it GFX, because that is what I do. And then save it. And then you gotta save it again. 